years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I'm Alex Bennett, and this is The Ramble. We go until midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States. Hello, everybody. Here I am. Um, uh, yes, here I am. Uh, let me just turn my mic up a little bit here. Go do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little song, a little dance, a little seltzer down your pants. I have no guests. I have nothing to talk about. I don't have my wife here for the program. Um, I'm not going to be here on uh, Tuesday. Uh, it's not that I'm taking my usual every now and then Tuesday off, but the Tuesday I'm having a, uh, um, a uh, uh, what do you call it, a biopsy. And uh, it's not that I'm worried that the biopsy is going to make it impossible for me to do a show. What's going to make it impossible for me to do a show is it's at 8.45 in the morning, which means that being at 8.45 in the morning, uh, I have to uh, get up at uh, uh, a rather early hour, and so I will not get much sleep that night. Plus, I'm going to take a Xanax and everything before the thing, and I'm, I'm going to be wiped out is what it's going to be. I'm just going to be too tired probably to do a show. I mean, maybe at the last minute I might say, hey, you know, what am I pussying out for here? I'll, I can do a show. Uh, but I doubt it, okay? So um, don't count on me doing a show on, uh, on uh, Tuesday, okay? That's, that's, a, that's a heads up because I'm going to have this uh, thing. I'm, I'm all, you know, I'm all uh, uh, bothered by it and, you know, uh, because I get people like Phil, for instance, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, Kevin, who've had them, say, oh, oh, they're not pleasant, <laughs> Well, it's only 10 minutes, and hopefully it'll be fast, and uh, uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be fine. I can't get my glasses clean. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to get a tissue here that will clean it. Hold on. I got, I got a whole roll of tissues down here, but they're so far behind here that I can't. Oh, hold on. Just uh, stay where you are. Here we go. Let me get a clean tissue. Here we are, see? And then I get this stuff. I have this uh, spritzer stuff that I put on the glasses. And then I can, uh, I'll uh, do them here. Here we get, get them all cleaned here. And I think I won't have a problem. Uh, let's see here. Let's see how they are now. Oh, oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, so I, uh, anyway, so, uh, you know, they keep going, oh, it's not pleasant. Well, I'm sure it's not pleasant, but it's only 10 minutes. And they say uh, there is, uh, uh, what do they pull? There, there, uh, this uh, discomfort level may vary, you know. So it, they say it's, it's discomforting, but they don't say it's painful. So anyway. I am not looking forward to it. And then, then you wait for five days to see if you've got cancer which I probably have, uh, but it's no big deal because then they give you a whole bunch of radiation or, or, or whatever it takes, and uh, you're good to go. They, they say, uh, uh, what I've been told is, but the doctor, I said to the doctor, I says, uh, is this uh, going to kill me or something like that, you know? Is this uh, life-threatening? And he said, no, it's going to be it's just mildly annoying. <laughs> That's how he put it. So I am going to uh, uh, look at it that way, that it, I'm going through a mildly annoying situation. And if I have to go do chemotherapy, uh, not chemotherapy, but radiation, I'll do the radiation. What the hell? Although there are two types of radiation they can do. They can do the regular radiation, which uh, makes your bowels all fucked up and makes you shit a lot and have diarrhea. Or you can get the, what's it called, brachytherapy, in which they put seeds in the prostate. And that way, I don't have to go do it. Like this other thing, you have to go five days a week 
uh, for like about five weeks. But it's only about 15 minutes a day. They just put you under the zapper, they zap you, and you're good to go, and you're on your way. But that means that five days a week, for five weeks, I, I really can't do anything else with my life except go get this fucking piece of shit done. So I'd rather have the brachiotherapy where they just put the seeds in, and then you're good to go, and then they just check every now and then and see if it's working. You know, so anyway, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm, you know what I do? Uh, this is what girlfriend said. I, I go too far ahead of myself, you know. Already I'm, I'm figuring out that it's, it's cancer that's going to have to be dealt with by radiation. It could come out that I have a very low um, uh, thing going here, and they, they're just going to sit and wait and watch. So I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I, I think I'll probably be around for a few more years, I hope. Hmm. Because Alex don't want to die, okay? Anyway. So anyway, here's... Um, so, uh, so what have I been doing with my life to make it better? Well, there's this. Now, this is an improvement over what I did before, okay? Watch this. Echo, turn off studio. See, all the lights, except for that one up there, and the reason why that one's still lit is because it was not good, all right? And it, um, um, uh, it, it doesn't hook up to the Wi-Fi. It doesn't pair to the Wi-Fi. So I called up um, Amazon, and they said, well, send back the three, you know, because they're these candelabra-type lights. Send back the three, and we'll send you a new box. And... I said, look, if I got bought four light bulbs from you and one of the light bulbs came broken, would you tell me that I had to send you back all the light bulbs? And the guy said, let me go check with my bosses on that. And he came back and he said, keep what you got. We'll send you a free one. Okay, so it's $36 worth of these. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, Echo, turn on studio. There we go. See? Isn't that great? Turns off all the lights here. Or I can have it turn off the one light here. Or I can have it turn off one of the lights. You can't see them right now because they're right up there. And then there's one that's lit that isn't working. So, But here's what they came in. Okay. So I'm looking at these, right? And I'm going through this thing. See, I'm going through this thing with the, with the, with the prostate deal, right? And I suddenly look at this and I get depressed. Listen to this. Uh, based on a three-hour day, here is the average lifespan of these lights. So if they're on three hours a day, and eh, let's say they're on six hours a day, but they're on three hours a day, those lights will last 20 years. I'm not going to last. That light is going to be going when I'm dead. Do you realize that? Although if I live, I'm now I have a reason to live to be a hundred, so I can see those li say to his girlfriend, uh, "Hey man, my girlfriend," uh, who at that point will be, you know, you know, she's about five years younger than I am, something like that, four years younger than I am. Um, so I reach a hundred, and she'd be whatever. I won't say because then she'll. Well, wait a minute. If I say I'm a hundred, and then she's four years younger, I guess she'd be ninety six, wouldn't she? Anyway. Um, and then I say, hey, you know what? The light bulb in the studio went out. <laughs> but that always depresses me when I see things like that, you know. Uh, Gee, the life of this light bulb is longer than yours. Oh, very good. I'm happy to hear that. Well, you know, I'll never, you know. Anyway, so what happens is, is it... Uh, uh, it, it's pretty, they're pretty bright, and I can have them change color if I want to, although why... Uh, but what I bought it for was because I've got this uh, wall sconce up here that has like three of those, you know, candle-type lights. They call them candle lights. And then I have a big torch lamp over here, um, but I couldn't get these to work. But then I found they had the candle ones. And so I went out and I, uh, I, uh, I bought them. Uh, and uh, one of them is bad. Won't uh, won't sink. The rest of them sink like that, you know. Uh, but but uh, the, the, that one won't. So 
Anyway, so uh, uh, until I can get, I'm get they, uh, they'll be in on Sunday. So I, I'll have this ready for you when I'm here back on uh, on Wednesday, um, if I can sit. <laughs> Let me see here. Um, oh, actually, the estimated en- energy cost per light, sixty cents a year. All right, so I'm saving money. I think all the way around. I think I've got it down, but I can throw this box away, right? I'm not going to have to return it to Amazon, okay? Uh, Let me see here. A couple items uh, we should get to. Uh, How's the picture looking out there? Let me see here. Is it looking good? Is it, uh, oh, wait a minute. I could uh, stand to have, uh, let me see here. What, what, uh, what, what, how, how, how fast is this going? It looks pretty clean, the signal. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Where am I? Okay. A uh, couple of couple of things. I have. I actually did some prep here because I have nothing to talk about. Right. Well, I will have stuff to talk about once we get the citizen panel here. But right now, I just you know. But anyway, um, this I have Disney Plus. Um, um, I you know I I subscribed to it even before it came out. And so I got it, and it's only, it's only like six ninety nine a month. So you go, ah, six ninety nine a month. I can afford that. So anyway, um, I uh, you, know, you know the trouble with this light though, this new light, it's uh, it doesn't have it doesn't have color, and so my skin tone looks a little too white under it. Let me see here if I can change this. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. I can turn this one to yellow, and I can turn the other one to yellow. Let's see what we get here. Do we get a better? Do we get better uh, uh, lighting? Let's see here. I do that. Let's see here. How's the color on my face now? Is it any different? Nah, it's not any different. Okay, so I'll go back to the other one because the white light. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Come on, there we go. I want to do that. Okay, all right, all right. We're back to. There wasn't a change, was there, in my skin tone? No, I don't think so. Anyway, uh, of course, I could turn the light red, and then my face would look redder. You know, that's possible. Anyway, uh, I, I think I look fine. Uh, anyway, where were where were we? Oh yeah. So anyway, the uh, we were talking about uh, uh, Disney, um, uh, Disney Plus. Okay, so it came out the other day, and uh, I'll tell you, I don't think it's going to be a big competitor for Netflix, and I'll tell you why. Uh, because it's different than Netflix. What it is, it's all the Disney shit in one place. Okay. So you've got everything from Steamboat Willie all the way to the latest Marvel movie, the you know the Avengers Endgame, uh, and and that's okay, you know that works out all right. That's not bad. Uh, it 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 works out cool, uh, but it it doesn't have the wide scoping variety that say Netflix has. I mean Netflix has everything from The Crown to some sci-fi thing, to some documentaries and whatever. So it's a broader thing. So I think right now Disney Plus is not a competitor to Netflix. It's just its own thing. And for $6.99 a month, you know, that isn't a lot of money to put out. So I'm getting that. And Apple TV is, what, $4.99 a month, I think, something like that. So I'm doing that. So between, you know, and it it's not the same as Netflix. It's certainly not as far-reaching as Netflix, although I do like its original programming. I like uh, the um, the morning show uh, with uh, uh, Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston, who, by the way, is terrific in this thing. And I like the Disney thing. I'll tell you what's great on Disney. You know what's great on Disney? Uh, we watched it. Um, I, I wanted to see what it would look like, and I figured, ah, you know, every time Disney does one of these live versions of one of their animations, one of their animated cartoons, it's not as good. Although Beauty and the Beast was pretty damn good. The version they did of Beauty and the Beast was, I think, very good. Um, but their live versions aren't very good. So 
they were going to do a live version of uh, of uh, be- of uh, what uh, uh, Lady and the Tramp. And it, you think about it, and you go, "Gee, you know, you you can animate that, and it, it, you can do things with animation to make animals, you know, talk and do things like that." But how are you going to do that in a movie? I don't know how they did this. I have a tendency to think that the animals were completely character generated. I, it's just. It, 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 it's just my thinking. Now I'm not sure, all right, uh, because I, but I watched it, and I, it's just the animals are too reactive to things, and they're they they I don't know. Anyway, they say what they say in most reviews is they put the mouth and the face things on on the uh, on the animals, and I don't think so. I think they. Character generated them from the beginning, but I may be wrong. Anyway, this thing is terrific. It is just, I think it's, I went back and watched, because they have it on Disney, okay, on Disney Plus, I went back and watched the original Lady and the Tramp, which is a good little animated film, but it's not as good as this thing. This thing, I was bawling my eyes out. I was crying. It was just, it's a beautiful, beautiful picture. So if you get Disney Plus and you can get it for a week for free, watch Lady and the Tramp. It's really good. You will not be disappointed. Uh, I felt I was getting my six ninety nine ninety nine worth right there. And they also have a Star Wars show called Mandalorian, The Mandalorian, which is um, done by John Favreau, and it's uh, so far so so far so good. Okay. But they're short episodes. Like the first one was 42 minutes, and the second one is 33 minutes. And I'm going, uh, but gee, can make them a little bit longer. You know, you go over to D.C., and Titans is like 50 minutes, you know. So I don't know. But anyway, they're having some problems, though. They're, or they were having problems the first day. It was just terrible. Things weren't coming up, and things were being, you know, you couldn't get onto the service, but finally they solved the problem. What they said was, well, we didn't expect the onslaught of people. What do you mean you didn't expect the onslaught of people? Come on. What you do is you sit there and go, twenty. if you think that only 10 million are going to want it, you get ready for 20 million, okay? Um, so they um, um, said that, uh, uh, you know, that that was the problem. Well, they have a few other problems. They have problems like, for instance, the the Simpsons. They have every episode of the Simpsons except for one, except for one. I'll tell you which one they don't have, but I'll do that in a second. Uh, they what they did is the the Simpsons, at least in their first, I don't know, they've been on thirty years, something like that. In their first twenty five years, I think they weren't widescreen, and then the last five years they've been widescreen well they took all those early ones which were square and stretched them out so they would go on your screen widescreen and that's not the way they were meant to be and some people are complaining that there are visual jokes that are being missed because they were on the edges of the screen and so on and so forth so it's not really there okay um and everybody's complaining about the simpsons but there's an episode of the simpsons they're not running Okay, and that episode is the episode with Michael Jackson. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess uh, the uh, the child diddler. Uh, you know, they, they can't they you can't see the episode with the child diddler. You know what else is missing, and it continues to be missed by Disney. It's been missed for since since it was released practically. Uh, you're not going to find Song of the South on Disney Plus. And quite frankly, I don't know why. I've never been able to figure out why. It's a bunch of white guys at Disney uh, saying what black people are going to be bothered by. And actually, it's a great little movie. I I have a copy of it. And it's a great film. And what's being missed also is that Charles Basket, who played Uncle Remus, won a special Academy Award for the role. They gave him a special Oscar that year for playing Uncle Remus. And it is, a, it is an Academy Award-winning performance, you would say. 
and yet it never gets seen. A man's work is completely obliterated. Um, you know, occasionally they will show Uncle Remus on a Disney program or something like that singing zippity doo and that's about it. Uh, and Charles Basket, who, when he died, he died only, I think, a few years later, died knowing he had done an American classic uh, and he had gotten a uh, uh, honorary Academy Award for it. Uh, uh, didn't know that his work would be. Nobody would know who Charles Basket was really. Although we still do see occasional clips of Uncle Remus, but it's a wonderful picture, and I think it's terrible that it's been uh, been excised from from Disney. What else has been excised from Disney? They're, they're, oh, what they're doing is uh, they, uh, they uh, 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 cartoons in those days, you know, cartoons in those days weren't made for kids. I know that's going to come as a shock to most of you, but it's true. Uh, kids um, weren't the market for Disney cartoons. Adults were. Now, you're asking why, and the answer is the cartoons were done for adults because they were the prime people who were going to theaters. And these things were shown between two, like, you know, adult features. Not, not porn, but adult features. Adult things that would appeal to adults. So the cartoons had to appeal to adults, too. And so there were re references and things like that to it that um, uh, 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 were just, you know, uh, today don't, don't play. So they had, like, Cigarettes, liquor, you know, uh, cartoon character getting drunk, you know, whatever. And they always say, like, there are references to tobacco in this cartoon. And they have those things listed there because they're so afraid, you know, that the parents are going to be, oh, they, they, you know. Now, Mickey never smoked, <laughs> but, you know. I'll tell you who did smoke. Who smoked? Um, uh, Fred Flintstone smoked. Do you know that? Well, they had an ad for Winston Cigarettes, who I believe was one of the sponsors of the Flintstones, and he was smoking a Winston, and along with Barney. They were both sitting back smoking, uh, smoking them Winstons. So anyway, uh, but all I'm saying is, is that uh, I wish it were just a little bit more, I don't know, a little edgier, okay? But I feel I'm just ensconced in the wonderful world of Disney, and you know, even the even the Marvel films, you know, in spite of the fact that there's excessive violence, I think in them, are are still not what we would call like hard edged things. And I wish we, I wish they did say, you know, we want to show you Song of the South, but we're going to give you a warning about it. But we think it's important because it's an old it's an old movie, and it has a history to it. No such luck. No such luck. Anyway, let me see here. Any other items that I've got here? Oh, an R-rated movie for the first time in the history of uh, movies has topped $1 billion at the box office. What do you think that R-rated movie is? A film I have not seen yet, but I hear is very good. Joker uh, has just hit the billion-dollar mark, and it is rated R and is the first R-rated picture uh, in, uh, in the history of... Uh, of uh, movies to get uh, make one billion dollars, so it made it in spite of being R-rated. Because when you're R-rated, less people can go see your movie, right? Right. Um, and I have a thing here for 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 uh, Phil, but we have to go to the phones in order for Phil to call. And so let me turn on my. Come here. Let me turn on my Skype. Last night it was working fine. Now let's see if it'll work fine tonight. Who knows? You never can tell, folks. You never can tell. Okay, let me see here. That should be up and that should be down. And uh, I should then open this up and people can start calling. All right? And uh, we'll see what happens. The first caller will call and the, it will, the ring will be so loud that we won't be able to stand it, but uh, what the hell? Anyway, here we go. Oh, Phil tried to call, and then Phil got hung up on. Oh, is that going to happen tonight? 
Let's see if Phil tries again. What happened to Phil? Yeah. Uh, uh, wow. That's not good. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's not terrific. Okay, there. There's Phil. Hey. Uh, okay, there's Phil. Okay. Yeah, it uh, cut me off three or four times. Yeah, and it would cut off uh, Kathleen as well, but I think she's on. Yeah, there we got Kathleen. Okay, she's there. Good, I'll be right back. Yeah, she's there, and here comes here comes Rob Alfano. Uh, let me see here. Okay, let me let me uh, put these people in. Uh, give these people a place in there. Uh, let's see here. First of all, Bob Kazoo, and then. Uh, we get, uh, uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Sibby Hitty is calling. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, everybody. Let me just, let me do this. This is going to take a little bit. There's Rob Alfano. Okay. There he is. Okay. Then we go like that. And you can see all those people. And now I got to go over here because of uh, Sibby Itty is calling. And, uh, Sibby Yes, yeah, Sibby Itty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Believe it or not, Sibby Itty, ladies and gentlemen, as I live and breathe, the the famous. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me move some things around here, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, here we go. Sibby Itty, uh, there he is. Sibby, move your camera down a little bit, or up a little bit, or something, so we can see your whole face. There we go. Well, now that's too much, but there, that's fine. That's good. See, there's there's Sibby. Sibby calls once in a great while. Where are you, Sibby? Where are you calling from again? Long Island. Huh? Long Island. Long Island. Right, right, right up the street from me here. And uh, yes, uh, let's see, where are you tonight, Rob? Are you still in Orlando? Oh, back home. You're back home. Okay. Yeah. What were you? Hey, doing? Phil, where are you tonight? I'm sitting in front of the computer. Yeah. 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 There he I is. was standing in front of it, but now I'm sitting. Thank you. So in listen, Walnut Creek. Uh, uh, Phil, do you have Hulu? Yes, I have the uh, Hulu, uh, the one that's forty-five dollars a month. Yeah, well, it's not anymore. Oh, uh, what happened? It it's went down. Be, it's being raised to fifty-four ninety-nine. Well, so far I like it, but I was thinking about uh, doing the YouTube uh, trial, and uh, that other people have said is really a better way to go. Now, Civi works for uh, a cable, well, not cable, yeah, uh, some sort of provider that uh, provides uh, ca cable TV, right? Well, to begin with, let me inform you, Phil, that the Lord is our provider. Yes, yes I work for a cable company, yes. Yeah, and I, I he, think I have a very poor connection here. I, I don't know if I can even. Oh no, you're you looks like poor connection. No, your connection oh, is you beautiful. Look you, you, you look, look terrific. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Good. you're Fair terrific. Enough. Yeah, I work for a cable company. What is it that you wanted to ask me, Phil? Uh, no, I was. Uh, well, we were talking about uh, you know different services, uh, and if you work yes. for a cable company, you might not be familiar with the uh, YouTube uh, uh, one, uh, but. Is it any good? You know, uh, uh, yeah, I know the YouTube TV that the one that you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's yeah, it's similar to the Hulu, forty five dollar a month one. Yes, it's it's similar to Hulu. I think it's forty dollars or fifty dollars for uh, a slew of channels, but it's not as expensive as a cable package that you can still get. Yeah. Cable still has the edge. And I have a feeling that people, all the cord cutters, you know, if you add all the five dollars here, ten dollars there, yeah. you add them all up, and then you pay for the ISP. Pretty much, you are, you know, you're paying In a the lot same more. Boat. Yeah. So yeah. I think a lot of people are coming back to cable because you get all those options, but you also get the option of streaming online if you have a cable subscriber. Yeah. which is an added benefit, which and, the streamers don't get otherwise. And cable is way more convenient. I don't care what you say. It, it is, it is it, if you're a channel surfer. Uh, you know, and I, I, when I had cable, I used to go from channel to channel to channel. If I had two TVs, there would be two <laughs> remote controls, one in each hand going like this well, from channel okay. to channel. Okay, every, every cable company <laughs> pays carriage fees to each of the 
stations. Yes. You know, TCM will have its own carriage fee. That's how they survive. Right. Another company will have a carriage fee. A CNM will have a carriage fee. And uh, they negotiate these with the cable companies, and that goes into your total cost of your package. Okay. What do you think you are paying more money for than any other cable channel? Rob knows. I know. Huh? ESPN. I know. Like, What'd you say? ESPN. Nope. No, Lifetime. Lifetime. <laughs> lifetime. Bucks of your subscription. No. ESPN is like $17. ESPN is the most, I think. It's about $15, I think, plus the Really? Like, last I heard it was 7 The Lifetime channel? Yeah. Brought to you by <laughs> Kotex. <laughs> 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 Watch that channel. Nobody. Now, I, yeah. I I don't even I don't miss QVC. Do you pay for QVC? Does does the cable company have to pay for QVC? You know, uh, oh. the uh, the one where they try to sell you shit. I watch yeah. it. Well, yes, cable company has to pay for all the channels that they carry, except. The public uh, broadcast or, you know, the PBS channels, I don't think we pay. Yeah. Ah. But the others. And also, I think the the network channels like the, the you know, Channel 5 mm. and Channel 4, Channel, you know, we don't pay for those because that's mandated by Congress for us to, we should it's carry. on the air. So, yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. Well, I, with, well, do you work, without saying the name of it, do you work for the company that was recently, um, uh, that was owned by... Uh, the Dolans, and then was sold. To yes, yes, to yes, work. absolutely. I used to work for them. Too. Yes, yeah. I used to work for them. Too. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah. And the Dolans don't own it anymore. No. No. My no. sister-in-law works for Newsday. Weren't they? Were they involved with Dish or somebody? They were involved with the Dolans. HBO. I think they used to own HBO Probably at one point in time. HBO and sold it to the Time to Time Life to really build out cable vacant. Oh. Okay. He started HBO. Oh, Really? Yeah. Yes. He, he really is yeah. a pioneer. Actually, you know, actually, if I remember correctly, and I, I may be wrong about this, but the first HBO uh, carriage in the country was like somewhere in Pennsylvania, in some rural community. They didn't even start in a major community. Probably not. It was yeah. started in an Amish community. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nobody picked it up, and they couldn't figure out why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do now, you? Is this is this the guy that also bought a big hunk of Sirius? Dolan? No, that was um, who? Who was it? Malone was the guy oh, who bought yeah. that. John Malone, right? Yeah, John Malone. Yeah. What are you all greasing yourself up for there, Kathleen? I took a shower. Oh, I see. I thought maybe you were getting ready to swim the channel or something. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Phil, how many channels does Hulu have? I don't know. Uh, it's got all the ones that I want. Uh, and, you know, since uh, since I switched from, uh, what was the one you I know, who, You know who's getting Slang. out? You know who's getting yeah. out of that business of, of uh, you know, carrying... Uh, cha cable channels and things like that is uh, um, uh, Sony PlayStation. Uh, they, they are? yeah, they had a thing called uh, I'm trying to remember what yeah. they called it. Uh, view play view view, view. yeah, view. and it was it had about sixty channels, much like you know all these others do. And they decided to get out of it. They said it wasn't making them money. Marriage, and it's really a headache yeah. because you're constantly renegotiating. Yeah. With with the providers, right? Mm -hmm. yep. You wind up in disputes, and it's it. That's why the cable companies, at least the cable companies, have the internet. Yeah, I'll try the joke again. I'm constantly uh, negotiating with my provider, but God won't listen to me. So, uh, thank you very much, folks. I won't be here much longer because he'll kill me for that <laughs> joke. Yeah, I heard about the light bulbs. That's evil. What my light bulbs? You mean? Uh, 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 <laughs> Echo, turn off the studio. Look what you did to me. <laughs> <laughs> Echo, turn on studio. There we go. See? Very 
<laughs> you know, you know, I suddenly realized, I think, you know, this is like really technology. It's driving girlfriend nuts because I'm doing all the lights in the house this way. And she can't remember what in every room you have to call them something different. Right. And um, but then I started to think about it. You know what this is the equivalent of? It's the modern day version. And we think we're so hip and we're so you clap on, clap yeah, off the clapper. <laughs> the clapper yep. right? You know, so, yeah. So. But I anyway. used to be able to genie bink my lights on and off, but my genie binker broke. What do you mean genie bink? Mean? You know, my genie binker. Oh, you mean, yeah, you're... Uh, you're Thank you. Yeah. Genie. Yeah. I dream like, a genie genie. I dream a genie. Uh, genie. Yes. She genie binked. Can you do the genie bink? No, it doesn't work. No, no, no but you, didn't you used to do that with your eyes? It's genie That's binking. The whole thing where you go like this. Yeah. And you, yeah. Yeah. yeah it yeah. doesn't work. It doesn't it's work anymore. Broke. Well, you know, um, uh, if you got it. But anyway, so the, it's the modern day clapper now, you know. And uh, 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 in this place, I really have to be, uh, I have to have light bulbs that have Wi Fi in them and so on and so forth because. Uh, I, I, I bought, have to. I bought but, outlets and switches. Because well, I, yeah. I think the light bulbs are more expensive. Well, I don't have, see, I don't have that many switches. I don't have that many. I have some lights on, you know, whatever. Uh, every, every plug, like this lamp here. Yeah. Alexa, turn off the bedroom. <laughs> no, I will not. One of the, yeah, I, one of these every, days, just on a little smart plug. It's a little thing like yeah, I know, this. I know. I have out. I have that for the light over here, and I have it for two lights in the guest room and for one of the lights in the bedroom. But then I had to get the bulbs for a lot of the the sconces. The reason being that in this apartment house, I really don't have that many light switches. Have you figured? I, I just thought of this. this is going to have you asked Alexa something in a whisper? What do you mean in a whisper? Alexa, what's the weather? Right now it's this. <laughs> what? It whispers back. It whispers. Hold on a second. Echo. What time? Echo. What time is it? I think she just whispered to me. Yes. <laughs> Mine answered in the whisper. He's, you got to name whisper. You got, funny. you got to enable the whisper. It's creepy to have the wait, thing wait, whisper. Hold on a second. She was asking me if I wanted to be whispered to. Hold on a second. Echo, what time is it? Echo, what time is it? I hope she yells at you. <laughs> Don't whisper. She, she's not whispering back to me. Uh, Rob well, said you had to enable it. Yeah, there's. A, I think in the app you have to enable it. Oh, really? Yeah, and then she'll anything you whisper to her. If you whisper it, she'll whisper it back. Like sometimes in the middle of the night, I sleep with thunderstorm sounds, and I ask her to play the thunder. If my wife's already sleeping, mm -hmm. I go Alexa, enable thunderstorm sounds. Is that under skills? Uh, I don't remember. I, I don't remember how I, I I found it on a. It, you know, I got a, an email once about things that Alexa does, and it told me where to go to enable it, and I enabled Wait it. Wait a minute. Well, hold on a second. Alexa Whisper. Let me see. Alexa. So what does Whisper Thunder sound like? Whisper. Wait a minute. I got to put you on it's screen, by the way, before I <laughs> you, 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 you can. I'll let, you, I'll let her whisper the weather again. Alexa, what's the weather? <laughs> that is just well, what is your what is your Jason is it are you 3 a.m. yeah oh okay all right okay there you go can you call it whatever you want like you're like turn on the lights damn it so what's the name you of your it contraption a damn it. computer or or echo Alexa damn. whisper face. <laughs> okay now wait a minute hold on a second uh wisher the wisher Alexa skills it says, uh, wish, oh, it, oh, I, it's a special one you got to download? No. No. They need to have one that sounds like the Costanzas. You just yell at it and it yells back. A whisper. <laughs> I, I put it, I put in wisher. Whisper. Whisper. 
Wait a minute. Whisper. Oh, let me see uh, here. Okay. Oh, whisper mode. Hey, there we go. Okay. There you go. Here we go. Uh, okay. Enable whisper mode on the Alexa. Okay. How do we do this? To enable whisper mode, and here's exactly how it works. Uh, here's how you enable it. Open the Alexa app. Okay. So I'm going to open the Alexa app. Okay. It's open. It, open the main menu and select settings. Okay. Then... Uh, select Alexa account. Uh, is it Alexa account? I guess that would be account settings, right? I okay. feel you should be reading these instructions in a foreign and, accent. And it says select Alexa voice responses. Ah, Alexa voice responses. Whisper mode. Oh, okay. Now let's see what happens. Alexa, what time is it? I mean, I have to do it. Dude. Echo, what time is it? Echo. Echo. It won't, it doesn't hear me. Echo, what time is it? It's time for you to buy a watch. Wait a minute, I can't. I, I, she's not doing it. <clears throat> Wait a minute, what? Wait, Wait a minute. Huh? Oh, it just whispered. I, I don't want to whisper. Will you people stop doing that? I'm trying to talk to, uh, to Echo. <laughs> Echo. Echo. What time is it? Oh, okay. It whispers now. Okay. Okay. I'm happy. This is... <laughs> it whispers it'll, now. It'll it'll read to you in a whisper. It'll it'll give you a whole conversation in a whisper. Oh, <laughs> well, back uh, and forth. Marjorie will love that one. It's creepy. That one she will when, love. My, when I first enabled it, and when my wife and I were here in the bedroom, and I was, yeah. it was like, do you feel creeped out by this thing whispering at us? <laughs> I would feel creeped out. It's creepy. Well, let me see here. Webhead. There we go. Here comes Tony. Here comes Tony. Webhead. Hey, Tony. How you doing, Tony? It's not going good tonight. Why? Oh, my mother's in the hospital. What? Oh, dang. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> She's alive. I don't feel like, so. don't feel like such an. I don't feel like such an ass. I was gonna say good. I didn't like her anyway. Yeah, right. Yes, right. I never <laughs> liked her anyway. Yeah. Okay, so we all know how to turn on our uh, our uh, Alexa, so she will whisper to you now. I want the yelly version. The one that screams at you. <laughs> turn on the lights. Okay. Wait a minute. Let me. I want to. I want to hear this one more time. Turn them off yourself. Echo. Yeah. What time is yeah. it? I want a sassy yelly Alexa. Oh well, yeah, Yento. Wow, yell. she. I she bet does you whisper. Alexa's Mexican. She does whisper. That's one. hilarious. <laughs> you, yes, sir. You know, one thing we've never thought about with the with the voice with Alexa. Okay. Do you realize how human it sounds? And yeah, it can't. It, it, have Siri by. Huh? Yeah, but I mean, is it is it is there a woman that recorded it, or is it a electronically created voice? I don't know. That is I think it's probably electronic. It does sound it's like a human. human. Wasn't well, like, there a woman be behind the Siri voice? No, I don't think there was a woman behind the Siri voice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was. No, yes, just, there was. Yeah. Let me see here. Uh, Siri, what time is it? Time to get an uh, echo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, she didn't talk to me. I think it's, I did, maybe I didn't have the speakers up. Yeah, I had the speakers Why up. Why don't you ask Alexa? What? <laughs> Alexa, what time is it? I mean, Echo, what time is it? The time is 10.49 p.m. See, she's not whispering now. That's <laughs> great. That's <laughs> terrific. <laughs> It's terrific that she can figure out whether you're whispering or not. That's wonderful. That's creepy. What do you mean that's creepy? I it think is. I think that's wonderful science. Okay. Uh. Let me see here. Let me get Kevin here. Hog Rider. Where's Hog Rider? There's Hog Rider. Okay. And he should be there. And now I push another button. And there is Hog Rider. Hello there, Kevin. How are you this bada evening? Bada boom, bada boom. Hello. Bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Hey, Kevin, do you have anything that whispers? 
Uh, do I have anything that whispers? Well, you know, that's an open. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> that goes. Uh, it's a whoopee cushion. Well, you could call it that, Phil. Yeah. Well, let's see. Vernon Nunn just tried to call. What oh, I'm f flashing a little bit here. On. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's Vernon. Oh boy. Well, we we're 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 getting towards. A, we're not getting a full house yet, but we're one short of a full house. Where where do I go here? I want to go to seven, and then I want to go to Vernon. Yeah, we know that's you, Vernon. Vernon is. Uh, here we go, Vernon. Vernon, there we go. There he is. Ah, hello, Vernon. You're Greetings. Ba you're back home again. You're not out on vacation. No, back in the grind. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, uh, it's uh, it's it, you know whatever. How you doing? How you all doing? Uh, it, it, uh, after Tuesday, I will join the club that is now held by uh, Kevin, uh, 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 Phil Meyer, and by Vernon Nunn, and that's called the Prostate Biopsy Club. All right. Huh? The Butt Club. <laughs> the Butt Club. <laughs> yeah. It, you know damn well what they're going to say. We didn't find anything, but can you come back in six months? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They do that. And, and I'm going to tell him, blow it out your ass. And they say, well, you just did. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that would be funny if you blow a big. If, if they do a biopsy and they don't and they find cancer, mm -hmm. there's no reason to do another biopsy. Then they just watch. So that would be uh, the good news, wouldn't it? Well, <laughs> no. Better news is they didn't find anything. Well, I'm sure they'll probably find cancer. I mean, at my age, they'll find cancer. Okay, uh, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, that's for damn sure. But they. they what happens is at my age, getting uh, uh, prostate cancer is almost a given. You know, yeah. it's it's like uh, you gotta you gotta. At some places, I've read eighty percent chance after the age of eighty. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. So it's not so, eighty for eighty. Huh? So so no, but so here's the, here's the bad news. I have a yeah. chance of getting prostate cancer. Why? Because I've lived to be eighty. That's the good news. Mm. You know. So it's I mean, the positive side. If you don't have cancer. Then you're never going to get it, I would say. Well, no, uh, is I, that the doc, Doctor Tony. That's not true, Tony. If you reach no? if you reach ninety, your chances are a hundred percent. Oh shit! All right, so then we're going to all get it. Yeah, guess, yeah no, I, I feel like what we my what, mother's what? ninety and she doesn't have prostate yeah. cancer. Right, uh, Rob. <laughs> what were you saying? So I have plenty of relatives who've lived over ninety and didn't die of cancer, didn't have cancer. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, but he's not saying, you know, who you're missing. They didn't die of cancer. They might have had it. You mean undetected? Yeah, well, Correct. what happens is a lot of people, uh, a lot of guys die at like 95, 80, uh, excuse me, 80, uh, 80 uh, 5, 90, and they do a, you know, a, a, what do you call it, an autopsy, and they autopsy find they had prostate happen. cancer. But that isn't what killed them. You hey, know. Man, my grandpa was 93 years old, had an aneurysm. Really? What kind, no. of, what kind of aneurysm? Uh, heart. Oh, like right, right about around the heart. They, he had them for years. Yeah, well, I, they, my heart's in pretty good shape. I, I, they, I, I just figure it's my penis that's going to get me. That's what I figure. You think it's revenge? It's revenge. your best friend at one point, and now it's rebelling on you. By the yeah. way, good news. Good news. All those years of masturbation, though, have paid off. The reason I probably haven't had prostate cancer up until this point is I masturbated at least four times a week. See, that's why I keep on telling the and wife. And what happens is out. if you masturbate at least four times a week, that uh, lessens your chances. I read this online in several medical uh, things. What? What are you saying? It didn't help me. Did you do it? Did you jerk off that much, Phil? Oh uh, yeah, that, it, it, twice a day. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, sometimes more. Well, maybe you got cancer from the blisters. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come into your office. Hey, you know, uh, 
Uh, there's an article from uh, some left-wing paper called The Independent, mm -hmm. and yeah. it says LSD magic mushrooms could uh, heal brain-damaged cells uh, in people suffering from depression and uh, yeah, also MDMA. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's why they're going to legalize it down in Santa Cruz. <laughs> <You> can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, LSD and magic mushrooms could heal your brain. But believe me, a lot of those psychedelics are going to be found to have great curative powers. Yeah. yeah. What do you see on him? Remember that guy? I watched that documentary. I seen that Timothy Leary guy. You're right, Alex. He's he's a smart guy. I was watching. Well, he's a smart guy. He was a smart guy. Yeah. He's dead. What did he say? You can see God. Like I mean, I know it's just theoretically speaking. Well, I've but, taken uh, I've taken LSD. I didn't see God. What do you no, just, didn't you, your uh, uh, Ronnie take uh, magic mushrooms? Psilocybin, yeah. 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 Uh, did, uh, did it help? It her, did or? help. It did help with their fear of dying. Yeah. yeah it did. Yeah, did there was a whole thing. There was a whole thing. That, what? That she, did she say in one of your last interviews that she thought it was like overhyped, though? No. No. See, it, I thought she did, and then at the same time, she said that it got helped her get rid of her anxiety. It did, it did help her get rid of it, and there was a thing on 60 Minutes about this same exact thing, that they're giving psilocybin to people who are dying of diseases and terminally, and that they are dealing with it better as a result. See, I think you should take it. Why? Because <laughs> you're dying just very slowly. You have depression. Yeah, well, so, you know. It's see, supposed no, to... I don't think he has depression. I think you have anxiety. Uh, uh, the anxiety? I have everything known to mankind, okay? Uh, you just know. have anxiety. We'll all, we will all take it and do a show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, every time I had taken it, it took like 24 hours out of my life. It was not only the 12-hour trip, 10-hour trip. It was uh, I had a sleep uh, you know, when I uh, would come off of it for oh. another 12, 14 hours. Oh, I couldn't sleep afterwards. No? No, I was so invigorated. You know. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you? What types did you do? I, I did, like, brown dot. I did um, a window pane. I did and... anything that they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the trouble was I finally awesome. quit when I had a bad trip. I had a, uh, a bad trip. Uh, yeah. It was at the time that they slipped you the date rape. Drug. Well, it had been it had been pleasant up to that point. Although anybody who wants to take LSD, let me warn you, it's a lot of work. Oh, you know, yeah. it's a lot of work because you're 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 having to somehow hold on to reality on a certain level, uh, or you have to have somebody there to tell you what reality I had a, is. I had a guide for the yeah. first, yeah. you know, four or five. Oh, a Sherpa and, and no, LSD. No, he, he, was, <laughs> Sherpa. He, he was involved with the psychedelic church. And yeah. Baba Ram Das and all of that yeah. stuff, and you know he was he would trip on a regular basis, but uh, uh, the one time I did it with some other people and no guide, it it wasn't a pleasant, it wasn't unpleasant, it just wasn't as fulfilling. You're a guy who won't do marijuana, but you did LSD. Well, back in those days, I did yeah. the marijuana uh, yeah. also. Yes, Jason. <laughs> I just wanted to tell Phil, but as soon as that guy got some. Uh, prescriptive lenses he didn't trip on a regular basis anymore <laughs> why is that no larry had larry had Dumb lenses yeah. so the person who's your guard, glasses what'd you say uh, what, what you? the person who's the guy of course doesn't do anything so what does he no do? no he did it he did it right along with me oh, and yeah? we did stuff like uh see you know you see the sunrise you talk about different he you had the trip fill or no yeah yeah did you see any like you know, I don't, I don't want to say personal. No, no. Uh, the, the, last, the last trip, I came up with some mathematical thing that I called Zion 2000. And I don't know what Zion 2000 is, but it seemed like a really important thing at the time. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I hallucinated. Uh, I, I'd gotten high upstate here in New York, and I was up in the bedroom, and I was chilling out, high on LSD, and I hallucinated the first time I ever had sex, right in front of me, like it was uh, it was happening right in front of me. So it was like a recall or. A... But it wasn't you. It, it was Ron you? Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> it was penis envy. You're still one of the funniest people I know. She is funny. 
Um, Jeez. Does uh, it pull your old memories, like of childhood? It's like the ones that are stuck in the back, like you think? I wonder if you can bring well, that what, what, what LSD does is it, it uh, there's a barrier between your conscious and your subconscious. And what it does is it breaks down the barrier between the conscious and the subconscious, and your subconscious flows into your consciousness. Oh, wow. And that's where you come in tune with a lot of uh, your past and so on and so forth. That's where it's a great psychiatric drug is because oh, wow. it does that. I, I think it just brings out anything you're thinking about at the moment. No, it, uh, I know what know. it does, Phil, uh, I know chemically. What, it does, what chemically it does is it breaks down the barrier between your subconscious and your subconscious. That's a simple explanation that's why you hallucinate that's why they can get 1495 for a sh uh, for one uh, one tab yeah well they're a little more expensive now yes uh, yeah. yes uh, J uh, jason so i tried acid you know i know it's not the same as lsd because it was no, knock no, off or whatever no but... acid is lsd oh well, i don't think it was at that it was in the 90s uh, he he but... had battery acid yeah, yeah. so all my buddies they were all tripping and mm -hmm. i tried the same stuff that they were doing did nothing for me for the first two times I did it. Absolutely nothing whatsoever. The third time, finally, I'm like, I'm sitting there in my bedroom by myself. I'm looking into a lava lamp, and I have all these little tiny bubbles going up and down in the lava lamp. And they started looking like vampire alien smiley faces. And that was it. I was like, You had the placebo. Sweet. You, you had uh, the placebo. Uh, apparently. The first, time I ever, the first time I ever took it, I took it, and I just said, this shit isn't working. And I'm sitting around going, it's not working. And then I walked into the bathroom because I had to take a pee, and I looked in the mirror, and my face had turned into the, into a wolf or something like that. And I went, fuck, this stuff does work. <laughs> yeah, was, you me. hear that, Sean? Don't do drugs. That's my Yeah, words. because that's why your mother is the way she is. Well, see, I Although you were never much of a drug user. You were never much of a drug user, were you, Kathleen? No, I don't Thank remember you. you. What? Uh, <laughs> timing's everything. Well, I, let me say this. Let me say this to you. Let me say this to your son if he's listening. Listen. Drugs listen. are really good. Listen, They're really good. They're lots of fun. <laughs> that guy's amazing. That's really amazing. He's all, that's amazing. <laughs> so when I was a kid, we had the Dare program. Drugs are really excellent. Uh, drugs are yeah. really excellent. Oh, yeah. 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 We dare you. Now, wait a minute. Now, now let me see so here. Let bad. me take a little poll here. Uh, Kevin, I think you probably have taken uh, uh, psychedelics in your time. We call Thomas the Train. Yeah, because oh. with a beard like that, you had to have done it. Okay. <laughs> and Jason has already said that he tried it. And Phil, oh, I... surprisingly, said he tried it. Kathleen, did you ever do a psychedelic? Are you saying that because your son's there? <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> if, if, you, if you do drugs, you're going to wind up in in the latter years uh, on the, the citizen. No, on the citizens <laughs> panel. Your penis. And you don't want to be here. Okay. Well, let me let me also let me also tell your son this that you know smoking makes you look really cool. <laughs> this isn't Ted. <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 let me see here. At uh, uh, Vernon, uh, you, have, what, hold on a second. I want. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm polling the Get rest there. of the audience here. Uh, first of all, uh, Vernon, uh, you don't look like you ever did psychedelics, did you? No. See, I, 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 I can psych that out. Now, Sibby, I, I don't know. Does he look like no. he was a he was a, no, no never did psychedelics. He does green curry. Tony doesn't need to. <laughs> Tony doesn't need to, and we don't it's want him to. Yeah. And who's to be my guide anyway? So, no, so, I want Tony to do drugs for the first time on Gabnet. Yeah. Well, I, would, God, I would do it if I had a guide. Yeah. No, have you, I, have I you even it. ever smoked hey, pot? We'll guide you for an hour have you ever smoked pot, Tony? No, but that I would wallpaper would really freak him out. He was smoking it around me. Yeah. So I think I might have got a contact high. Because one of my friends who used to play You want to get a contact high, just look, I turn just around and look at your wallpaper. Yeah, the yeah. wallpaper would really. If you have to do anything, you'll be all right. The wallpaper will freak you out. like incense, I used to tell him. Like a church type thing. Anybody watch the 70s show, like the first episode? Eric gets high, and the wallpaper is starting to, like, it's like on a, a reel where it's going down. <laughs> you know, the piece uh, yeah, yeah. of art behind Vernon's uh, uh, radio uh, can make you trip if you stare at it long enough. 
That's my son. He yeah. Did that. yeah. My son my son did that painting. He's, He's a cute. trip. <laughs> so you might not have not done psychedelics, but maybe he did. Let me see here. And uh, so uh, I guess we're down to Rob. Rob, have you ever done a psychedelic? No, never had the chance. You ever smoked pot? Oh, yeah. Pot, <laughs> coke. Oh, wow, he did coke? Okay. I, Quaalude. I, I worked for him in the club for four years. Mm -hmm. It was very hard not to do coke. Yeah. Not to well, do coke. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 The, you know, remember the old shows where they would, you know, like Emergency 405 or something? What's wrong with her? Oh, she's high on barbiturates. And then, like, in the next episode, someone's going into cardiac arrest. Give them five cc's of barbiturates. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody wanted to have a Did, when I arrest. When I knew you. Yeah. When, as kids, we were like, what the hell are barbiturates? When I knew you, was that my post-cocaine period? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't doing it then? Oh, oh okay. Because I used to always have this little bullet with me. And I, you know. Oh, yeah. Remember the bullet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the bullet. You, that little thing you turn on it? Yeah, it's because like... you could palm it, and you could do it anywhere. Right. You know. Yeah. Uh, and nobody really I got suspicious. most about Coke is when you didn't have any more. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Was was so freaking well, then, then you have to be like me. I was making enough money where you don't run out. <laughs> no, I remember you sending me to Howard's house Howard's to get house. more. He, he really, yes, our friend Howard. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, by the way. Yeah, but thank God when I met you, you weren't doing that. <laughs> had I, I guess I had come back from Florida, right? This was post-Florida. I, I went to Florida to work for like mm -hmm. about three months. That was what in '89. Yeah, you were in Florida yeah. during the earthquake. Yeah, we were. No, po you wasn't. and I were post earthquake, weren't we? Yeah. I went okay. to your apartment right after the earthquake to see if you needed any help. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but but uh, I think I, I knew you post earthquake. And when I came back from Florida, that's when I stopped doing coke. When I wasn't doing it anymore. Imagine moving to f Miami and stopping cocaine. Oh, I, I don't know. Flour. Uh, it's just a state flower, exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, but I just didn't, uh, I just decided I, I did my last uh, line of coke out of my, out of my little bullet as I crossed the state right. line into Florida, driving down to go to work there. And then did not do it from that time on. And I once in a while I would try it like on New Year's. I think one New Year's I had a New Year's party and I bought some, and we tried it. And I thought, you know, hey, you know, I haven't done coke in like two years. And if I if I do it now, I'll get really high, like you know, the first time. No, it's like the time you did it last. Right. That's right. You know, it's not like you, you, you suddenly go back to the way it was, yeah, which is right. ridiculous, you know. Now, what? you don't remember anything, but do you remember the New Year's that uh, we all went out to Julius Castle? Vaguely. Yeah. Vaguely. And I had a lot of coke that night. It was, really? There was one other couple with us, and the guy had more coke. Julius than Castle. Than um, that was the restaurant. Uh, yeah, that was up on Telegraph Hill. Right. Yeah, uh, and it was uh, right. If you you could look out the window, you could see the building they shot uh, Dark Passage in with Humphrey Is that Bogart. The one with the portholes. Uh, yeah, yeah, that beautiful yeah. Art Deco building. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I wonder if Izzy's Steakhouse is still around. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, then I'm going to take my son. What? Yeah. Is the steakhouse? Yeah, the steak I, probably. I, I don't think uh, it is what it used to be. Yeah, well, it used the steak used to cost like uh, I think it was like twenty eight dollars. It's probably like fifty or sixty now. I would imagine. I like their swordfish. Really? You go to a steakhouse for swordfish? Yes. Yeah, that's why we uh, broke up. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> and they're. What was it? Their cream spinach? Oh, God. So I would get the steak good. and the you know, cream Ruth spinach. Chris has great cream spinach. Yeah, so what? It's better Izzy's. Izzy's. No, no, no. And uh, they've got signature steaks now at Ruth's Chris. Wow. And, the, uh, and they give you a special knife, a choice of two different knives. Really? It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, cool. I get a bone in New York. And, uh, ooh, is it good. What, you stick your dick in a steak? 
He loves the state. I'd like to. You see? <laughs> yes, uh, yes, Jason. You know, I'm sorry because there's a couple of Jewish people on here, but the best steak I think out there is a pork steak. It's so freaking good. What the fuck is a pork steak? That's <laughs> also one that you stick your dick it's in. It's not a chop. Yeah. It's a pork steak. <laughs> it's really good. I, I can't believe restaurants don't sell it, and it's not a bigger thing. It's I, also, I used to go to a cheap. hamburger place in the city in, in San Francisco called the Grub Steak, and it was open 24 hours. Uh, do you remember that one? They had great hamburgers. Yeah, it was right on like uh, Sacramento and Polk. Do you remember uh, what was it? Oh, what was a cheap steakhouse that they had? Cheap steakhouse. Oh, oh, oh! oh. It was on Ellis and Powell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and they had them here, Tad's, and they had them here in New York yeah, too. Tads. They had them here in New York as well, and it was ninety nine cents for a steak and 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 a, and a baked potato. At least when I was a kid. A long time ago, yeah. And it was pretty damn good. Well, recently I tried Tad's here in New York, and it's now just like shoe leather. <laughs> you know? It was like shoe leather then too. <laughs> my well, my father loved it because it was a cheap steak. You know, you could just go in there. It was right near the Musicians Union. So, yeah. so after he got I through, a so cheap steak or a cheap skate? Cheap steak. You were pretty close, Alex. Uh, Izzy's ribeye is fifty-seven ninety-five. Really? Well, yeah. now how much? But wait a minute. How much is their um, um, their um, what's the what's the other steak I used? Filet to have? mignon. The filet 45. mignon is what I used to have. What? Forty-five bucks. How much? Not enough meat. Wait, how much? Forty-five bucks. Forty-five bucks. Oh, well, the fillets were pretty huge there. Yeah, no, the fillet uh, was wait, great. Wait, wait, no. Let me let me take that back. That's a different fillet. It's a six ounce for thirty-one. Eight ounce for forty two and the forty nine bucks for ten ounce. Yeah, and it was a blackened fillet. Does it say blackened? Uh, no, it says a pover or whatever. It is. Oh, oh, that's, uh, that's oh no! Which, what Pepper happened sauce. to what happened to that place? It used to be that the the steak was uh, blackened uh, blackened uh, fillet mignon. Yeah, I don't yeah. see it. Doesn't say anything about blackened in it though. Yeah. There was a yeah. blackened hamburger steak for eighteen ninety five. Yeah. I like the twenty four ounce porterhouse for two, but it's only mine. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex in New York, do they have a New York strip steaks? Yes. Oh, they call them shell steaks in New York. No, they call them strip steaks. New York's yeah, yeah New York no, sirloin, they whatever. They call them shell. Yeah. You know what? Yes, I thought back in the day that it was like everywhere yeah. else in the country. They had well, I, I want to I want to complain to Kathleen because she's working at Costco now. Is it? Is it where you're working? Yeah, and they're chill freeze. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. Their steak sucks now. Really? I just, not, I just not bought. In Tracy. I bought a pack of four of them this week, and every one of them were like cutting. I had to take a hacksaw to them to get well, through them I've because. Never had that. The sinew is just, it was terrible. It was Would just you, terrible. And sometimes, yeah. once in a while, I'll get them, and they're fine. And then which sometimes one, they get them, which, and they're all terrible. Can't you uh, do something them to them to, to make them, uh, you know, like e either hit them with a mallet or let them sit? And no, you shouldn't something. have to. They should at least be a I mean, I realize I'm not buying the prime, but, you know, with the choice, I should be getting a fairly decent steak, and I was What's buying up? a decent cut of meat. What and, cut? I can't remember now. The New York. I've told you before, Alex. You need to go to a butcher who has antibiotic-free meat. You know the steaks at uh, Costco have gone up in price, and they're and they're uh, close to or exceeding the price at uh, at a butcher. Yeah, they are. They are very expensive. And I probably haven't had steak in three or four years. Oh. I just don't eat it that much. I was never a big steak eater myself, really. Yeah. Yeah, I I'll tell you, you know what I like about Costco though. Once I uh, I wanted to uh, I wanted to adopt a child, and they had an that adoption too? agency at Costco. Uh, I thought you did, Schmoody. No, but but no, but <laughs> they had an adoption agency, but you had to buy two of them, and they were taped together. Uh, so very was, funny, and they came on a pallet. <laughs> they came on. A pallet. They were palletized. <laughs> Also, the bacon. They got bacon. You know, they did. They had applewood bacon at they our had the Costco. Thick stuff. Wait a minute. The applewood yeah. bacon was terrific. They got rid of it. They replaced it with the Kirkland thick cut bacon. 
Some hey, weeks, some weeks that I buy it, it's thick days. cut, and other weeks it's not thick cut at all. I mean, it's inconsistent. Oh, they I, still have it here. It's inconsistent. They still have the apple wood? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it pissed me off that they don't have the apple wood here. You gotta watch for the asterisk. You gotta watch for the asterisk on the on the on the on the uh, the sign. When the asterisk is there, that means they're getting rid of it. Getting rid of what? You mean whatever they say? That they... means that's the last thirty days, isn't that right, Kathleen? Yeah. Yeah, the asterisk on the on the on the the display for the price. Really? There's yep. an asterisk on there. Yes. That means that's the last thirty days they're gonna carry it. Wow. Hmm. Son of a bitch. So stock up when you see it. Yeah. Wow. I yeah, didn't I know did that. that. Oh, yeah, yeah. thank you for telling me that. And you know, not all Costco's carry the same stuff. Right. Yeah, that's true, too, because I, I buy their coffee, and I had to buy it up in San Jose a couple yeah. of times. Uh, yeah. Yes, uh, uh, Jason. So does anybody have a BJ's around them? Oh, I got one. Oh, I got a joke yeah. for that, too. That you've been to one? Yeah. Huh? I just went there today. It's okay by me. What's BJ's? Is it a... Uh, it's like it, a it's, Costco, it's, Sam's it's, it stands for uh, blowjob, no, no, Phil. I thought you were talking about the bar. <laughs> Phil. Phil asked, what's a BJ? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> no, because they're going to be building one, like, right down the street from me. And I'm, like, I'm kind of debating about switching from uh, Costco to BJ's, but... um feels better. <laughs> Yeah, but you know it's it's so much closer. You know what? But the only thing is, I I do appreciate that Costco pays their employees. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what. Do you get like gas Sam's at clubs? Costco? I'll tell you the truth. Costco isn't that good for food anymore. Okay. Uh, I but disagree. but it's great for toilet paper. It's great oh, for napkins. It's great. Yeah. It's great for a lot of the the stuff you stock up on in bulk. Yeah. TVs. Yep. But TVs, TVs. Ultra strong. Big, huge a bounty plan. I got, yeah, what, what were you going to say, uh, uh, Rob? Big, huge jars of Jif peanut butter. <laughs> oh, I, got, I get Skippy. Yeah, I saw the Jif today. Yeah, I got Skippy. Skippy, yeah. Big, giant. Yeah. yeah they're together. That's like a two of them stacked stuff. together, yeah. Yeah. I got the syrup now. I got the log cabin syrup. Here's what I heard. Now, tell me if, I, if, I, if I'm wrong about this, that at Costco, let's say you have Jif peanut butter, and then right next to it you have Kirkland, okay, which is the house brand, that you're better off doing the Kirkland because, number one, it's cheaper and it's probably better because they have the person who has the peanut butter right next to the Kirkland make it for them. Right. And they want it to be up to a certain quality. And so the Kirkland is always better than the actual real product. Am I right or wrong? A lot of them are the same, and they just slap a label on it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, uh, Jason. So, you know, my, uh, I think she's my sister-in-law, I think. Um, so she works for uh, Fago, you know, Cola. I don't know if you guys have Fago, but LaCroix, we call it LaCaca. And uh, uh, Sam's Club, or I'm sorry, Costco came in and they're having them make their version of it. They came in, they did an inspection on the factories and everything, made sure all the employees were legit and there were a union shop and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, so they did their research on them before they let them slap their name on it. Yeah. Yeah. But um, um, like, for instance, I had to literally twist girlfriend's arm to get her to use the Kirkland toilet paper rather than the, what's the one that's like... Uh, uh, ish. No, yeah, no, not... I had to do the same thing here between the... the the paper towels and the toilet paper. I had to talk my wife into t taking it. Yeah, and, and she finally, we were at my business manager's place, and they had Kirkland toilet paper, and I said, you like the toilet paper in there? She said, it's really good. I said, that's the Kirkland. Yeah, go yeah. in and wipe your ass for a few minutes. Now, she still, <laughs> we still have we still have to get the bounty paper towels, because, and I agree with her, because the Kirkland just doesn't feel like the bounty. See, and that's what I disagree. I, I don't like Kirkland toilet paper. But, but I love the by, paper towel. By, by the way, everybody, you like our new format I don't care tonight? Our yeah, new yeah, format. Right. Them, they just, it doesn't weather. matter. You use them up and throw them away anyway. Our, our new cares. format now th tonight is Costco talk. That's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're missing. Uh, we're missing the boat here. It's um, what is it? It's 55 degrees in San Francisco. No, we're, that was last night's format, Phil. <laughs> it's so last night, yeah. Because well, the temperature is 43 in New York. Is, is it 43 in New York? Wait a minute. Let me see. What is it here? 
It no, uh, I, no, I you, know. Oh, it is forty three uh, in New it, York. It, it's always cold in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, here, here you go, forty three degrees in New York. Uh, but anyway, um, it is fifty seven in Tracy, people. Oh, okay. Well, a uh, whole whole fifty four in Hollis. Hold on a second, folks. It's uh, <laughs> let me see here. Um, House, it's seventy nine degrees. It's uh, well, it's fifty four degrees in San Francisco. It's uh, Echo. Huh? Cold is it? Humidity is eighty-seven percent. Dew point is fifty. Northwest winds at seven p seven miles per hour. Yeah. Pressure is thirty point one six inches. Let me see here. Oh, New York, TV, San Francisco. Oh, Ooh, it, it's forty-one degrees. It's forty-one degrees in Paris. About I think Vernon's got us all beat. Yeah. <laughs> what? What Vernon? Twenty-seven. 27. Is it 27 on, where you are, Vernon? <clears throat> Alex, yep. you got it in front of you. Look up Detroit. In Ibiza, it's in Ibiza, it's uh it's 51 degrees. That's yeah. nippy cheese. Let me see That's here. Detroit. Huh? You you've been to Ibiza with me, Kathleen? Yep. Ibiza mm -hmm. was fun. Oh, Ibiza was no, back then. I you don't want to go there now. I got a correction, Alex. That 27 is where I was on vacation. This is what it is here in Louisville. Uh, what, oh, 30, 30, 30, 35. 30, okay. 30, 30, it's 46 30, in Beijing, by the way. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but with the tariffs, it's like uh, 57. Uh, Shanghai, 76. Shelburne, Vermont, 27 degrees. So. Those are all the ones I have on my. I don't know how to add Detroit. I I, I forgot how to add a. City. Why is it I have one here that oh, says there. New York, and then if I go to the next one to it in New York, and it says mostly clear. When I go to the other one in New York, it says clear. Oh. I don't understand that. This is our new one in Detroit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold I, on a I'm, second. I'm just I'm getting something from my producer. Yeah, I know that was last night's format. I know. I know. Well, we'll get back to tonight's format uh, in right. a moment. Then let's 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 go to flat tires. <laughs> no, no, we did flat tires last night too, and nobody yeah, here. Well, it, it, it's nobody, a anybody spot. here have a flat tire recently? You know, I was surprised. I just bought a new vehicle, uh, unlike to Phil, because he was trying to talk me out of getting my Jeep Compass that I absolutely love. I was going to say, Jason, what did you buy? Yeah, Jeep Compass, awesome oh, vehicle. And Phil is talking about Scotty. I told you get the Lexus. Fucking some fucking Toyota bullshit. <laughs> so you should only anyway, be so lucky. I did have to fill up my tires yesterday because it got so cold. Uh, now in Detroit, I I had a cousin that lived there, and he used to have a thing that started his car uh, while he was in the house. And, and there was something that went over the engine, some sort of blanket or something that oh, kept the engine warm. Was that a diesel? Oh. No, it was a Jaguar. And engine would be. And, uh, yeah, and, the, and he, he lived uh, near 13 Mile uh, in a place called Franklin Village or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, right outside got, of Detroit. Got, uh, where you plug in, you can plug in your... your yeah, a lot of times diesels have a blanket heater. that have to go over your or an uh, engine, engine heater. Block. Yeah, it'll. Yeah. you got a plug that comes out the front, and you plug it in, it keeps the coolant warm. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Or nowadays, like, i got a remote starter, but that's no yeah. big. I go, boop, boop, when I'm done yeah. brushing my teeth. Well, oh, in 1973, late. I thought it was pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's uh, when they did have blankets. <clears throat> well, let's see here. So the Costco format seems to have died. Uh, oh, let's yeah. talk returns. We didn't get to that side of it. Returns, returns are great at Costco. Uh, returns? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've returned. You I've returned. It, you know. I've returned an electronics thing that broke three years later, and they took yeah, it I know. back. Except yeah, now they, on electronics, they have a 90-day. Uh, yeah, so but you, you can, for, a few bucks, for a few bucks, you can get a uh, warranty that's good for five years. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know what happened is yeah, with this, TV. with these, uh, with these bulbs here, uh, I, uh, I'm, get, I get a lot of free stuff from uh, from Amazon, because I told them I said, you know, I'm not sending back the package with the two with with all three bulbs, because only one of them went out. It, can't you return the take care of the bulb? And they said no. And I said, well, you know something? You wouldn't ask me to return a whole package of light bulbs if one of them was broken, okay? 
So what about this? And so he went and checked, and I'm getting a free box of these new bulbs again. They're all, well, since the bulbs will outlive you, yes. Yes, they will. <laughs> they're, they're good for 20 years if you use them three hours a day. This is my newest acquisition. What is I that? A hair dryer? Two of these. A hair dryer? No, what no. the hell do you need it, a hair dryer for? It's a, yeah, really. It's an underwater strobe. I got two of them. They came yesterday. And uh, I charged the batteries. And uh, the, the, these are the ice lights. Huh? Yeah, you take pictures of fish. What um, are they called? It's an underwater strobe. Cool. And, uh, yeah. Wait a minute, Phil. What, point, turn it on and point it at me. Okay. Let me see Let's here. See. Turn it on and point it at me. Alex. Let me see. Blow out oh, camera. look. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Huh. That works good. Yeah, right. really. It's really good. A thousand Phil. mild light. Yeah. 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 I, well, that gag paid itself off. Uh, yeah. But see, Phil, if you don't believe in global warming and climate change, maybe pretty soon you can just go out your front porch and use that. Hey, I just bought from Four Ocean for my donation. I have a metal straw. Yeah, I saw uh, it. That, I heard yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but by you the know, way, I'm doing I'm doing something for the environment. What are you yeah, doing? You're driving a Jeep made, in, you know, by Italians. Yeah. No, actually, mine was made by Mexicans. And it shuts Same off. Same thing. By the way, I, I, you know, we haven't done much on politics in the last couple of nights because all these new formats are working out so much better for me. <laughs> than Matt politics. Bevan finally conceded. What? Matt Bevan finally conceded today. Oh, yeah, uh, he did. Is he yes. Or, uh... Yeah. He's the current governor, and he refused to concede that he lost by 5,000 votes to the <laughs> Andy Brashear. Yeah. Oh, my but, gosh. But he conceded today. Yeah. So, you know, uh, but, but he's not leaving. <laughs> but he's not leaving exactly. Um, but uh, uh, the uh, I finally decided that I, you know, I love Trump tweeting like crazy because eventually he's going to tweet himself right into jail. Oh, I he mean, did that today. <laughs> he really fucked right. up today. Today he, he really today. fucked up. What, the he word was, of the day is bribery. He was Everybody live was tweeting. He Today was live was tweeting classic. against Marie Yakanova. Uh, uh, the woman that was upset that she was let go. Wait a minute. While, yeah. wait a minute. While, while she was testifying. While yeah, she was Trump, testifying, Trump he was, was tweeting, tweeting horrible her. things about her. Oh, yeah. He even got, he even got uh, Brett Bear and uh, uh, what the hell is the other Wallace guy, Chris Wallace? He yeah. even got Chris those Wallace. guys that jumped ship, I think. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So is, I just hope a, I just hope he I hope I hope he wonderful. keeps tweeting like crazy because all this stuff's gonna come back to bite him in the fucking ass. Oh, he, he fucked up big today. He yeah. Fucked up. Emperor's clothes are coming don't, off. Don't <laughs> fool yourself, guys. We thought this two years ago. There's no way this guy is. He's gonna fuck himself. He, he's gonna. He's a Teflon Don. He's yeah. Gonna, you're gonna, probably right, but it it sure is. Oh, man, this is bad. <laughs> Yeah, it's bad. Oh, because what I saw today, I didn't really think it was that big of a deal, you know. And I heard other people talking more about it. And, and you know, to be honest, uh, an ambassador is actually an arm of the president. You know, you yeah. are supposed but, to be but there. But here, to here, the here's the here, here's the problem, Jason. No, you're there to represent the country, Jason. It, no, it's the not the country. You are there to represent. The but no, uh, no uh, so I agree. I work at the will of the president. The yeah. will at the of the behest. president. Yeah. yeah. Well, at his on his behalf, but not his personal right behalf. Right. I, I, right. I get it and I understand. Yes, yeah. and I but agree with I, that. It, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. The reason why she was there was because she was primary to that telephone call. I mean, if she wasn't important to all of this, why is it he mentioned her twice in that telephone call mm -hmm. to the uh, to the Ukrainian yeah, president? See, that's, that's, I think there working. is more about her. Hmm? That There's more about her that needs to be revealed because you know, why does she get brought up when she was already fired? Hey, she wasn't uh, fired. She, she was just recalled. She yeah, just okay. recalled Washington. She, I believe she said that Trump didn't do anything wrong, and that uh, no, no, she didn't. No, yeah, no, yeah, I she didn't no. Say that. remember the exact no, words. No, she didn't say that. What did she say? 
I, I, isn't it funny? It's Nothing, convenient to, re, to forget that one. No, I have not paid. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I know the hearings are going on, but I have no idea. But it's the same story. Well, uh, uh, let me explain to you, Rob, what's been happening in the last couple of days. The president of the United States, who happens to be Donald Trump, in case you don't know, um, uh, has been making a deal with Martians. Uh, and uh, he he doesn't want aliens coming into this country, so he's making a deal with them to stay on their side of the galaxy. All right. So I, I, you missed and that. And he's doing a real news. good job of it too. Yes. They're not coming. I, we the haven't seen thing, a Martian here in years. The only thing I recognize in I this love Trump. <laughs> is the fact that people who love Trump hear what they want to hear, and the people that don't love Trump don't hear it. All I heard her say today was that he didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but the people who love Trump are down to 35%. So, you know. Yeah, today was a pretty big deal. I, I, they didn't have much to say. They, they couldn't really say much. Uh, yeah, Jim Jordan was speechless. Yeah, the Jim Republicans Jordan was speechless. speechless. All they could do was uh, repeat the same shit. It was, it was talking point day. They asked, they asked her why she was there and why she isn't asked at an H. Else too. No. And why she wasn't complaining to HR because she didn't like her Because Devin she Nunes made. is an asshole to say something like that. Yeah, uh, he was right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't, I can't argue with logic like that, Phil. Yeah. No, because, hey, I can't either. You know, like, yeah. uh, you know. You we'll guys see. selectively. One of these days, one of these days, Kevin the Kevin yeah. Nunes is, is going to be uh, is, is going to be uh, arrested for like diddling a little boy somewhere, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and and you Smelling think that that other moron <laughs> Schiff with the big eyes? Uh, oh yeah. You know, oh oh yeah. Yeah, make fun of his big eyes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is that all? All you can say I, bad I, I about have, him? I have to agree with you, Phil. It looks like he's sitting on a movable seat or something. <laughs> 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 He's the kind of guy. He's the kind of guy. Ooh! (laughs) Talk talk about googly eyes. What about Rudy Giuliani? Talk about freaky eyes. He's just the kind of guy that used to get beat up in the schoolyard all the time. You know. Uh, you know, he, he, he just has that uh, look. I, I can't know? disagree with you there, Phil. And what's his name? Stone uh, got... Uh, Roger. Roger yeah, Stone got... Guilty uh, today. Guilty yeah, today. Seven yeah. counts. Huh? All seven counts. What, 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 yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I got a feeling he'll, he'll appeal, and uh, the same thing happened to him that happened to... Uh, who, who's the uh, guy that was in Trump's cabinet for 16 days? The general? Uh, Mattis? No. Oh. The, the first 16 days. And then his son said something. And, Michael uh, something. Uh, yeah. Uh, been you so know, many we can't remember. Yeah, they, they got him for lying. Too long ago. Huh? Yeah. They got him for lying, but it, it was one of those lies where you said, uh, oh, well, I was there on Thursday, and it was really Wednesday. And uh, I got <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, these guys. Uh, but <clears throat> all I'm saying is, tweet away, Donald. Just tweet away. You're going to tweet yourself into oblivion. You know, he was asked about that today, and he says, "Hey, I got a, I got a First Amendment." Oh, right. he has an absolute First Amendment right sure, to say what absolutely. he wants to Go say and it. just he keep can saying fire it. Fire in a crowded theater. But wait a minute. He won't get arrested. But right? wait a minute. Fire. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, <laughs> Phil. He can, he has an absolute First Amendment right. But if he doesn't keep his mouth shut, it's going to hang him. That's but all. It was Schiff that made it that made the fuck. witness aware of what was on the tweet. Well, she would have seen it afterwards. She would have been intimidated if Schiff didn't. Uh, she would have seen it after. Fire. She would have seen it afterwards. Okay, After or somebody, somebody could have said, uh, somebody could have said uh, uh, there. Uh, did you just see what uh, Trump wrote about you? It was during Alex. the break yeah. anyway. She would have seen it. It was during yeah, the break. Alex. Alex, yeah. I heard the best. I heard the best explanation of that. Mm. Trump live tweeting against Maria was not to intimidate her. It was to intimidate anybody else who comes to testify after her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Both, so, actually. so uh, this this sh- this is witness tampering, is what it is. The mafia, like in she, the- she was then she people. wasn't as bad as Blasier Ford, but she was right up there. 
And, 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 and she's a Wait, she's a no, flower. Oh, she's a flowers. career diplomat. This is yeah, a okay, Phil, 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 Phil. Have some respect for no, women. Hold on she's a second. For six presidents, four of them were Five. Republicans. Six Three. presidents, counting this one. And four uh, of them and, and she's a career diplomat. She's had a respect. She's been respected in her profession. She's, she's still worked. She still worked. She's, work. been, she's still. She's been shot at oh. in every country that she she was in. She was shot at in Mogadishu. She was shot at oh, in Somalia. Yeah, and I mean, and, and I and I know and I know soldiers. Well, I know you soldiers. Know, said, I know soldiers that have been shot at in every country they've been in. So have they been the reason Trump, the war happened? Trump, uh, Trump and tweeted, she's still doing her job. And he said, you know, uh, every Phil, place you Phil, go. he had no respect for this woman, and he treated yeah. her like shit in those. Th it, it, hey, go right ahead, do this. I mean, he's yeah. going to he's gonna just take himself right into the ditch. And I don't know where his lawyers are in all of this saying, Donald, do not do that tweet. You should not do that right now. Because nobody's there to tell him what he can do and what he can't do. And I, you know, I would believe that they, he's got people saying don't do it, and he's turning around and saying I'm going to do it anyway. Either that, or he has people around him. He only has people around him who will tell him what he wants to hear. Or he's in the shitter doing it, and nobody's around him when he's doing it. <laughs> yeah, that could be too. You know, he doesn't Marshall. sleep and he doesn't shit. Obviously, oh, it's him doing the tweeting because he's a bad speller. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, but uh, you know. I just, you I just, see Vernon's hand? Yes. Oh, Vernon. Uh, yes, Vernon. Yes. The best quote that I've heard come out of these hearings was from George Kent. And he's saying, when you're trying to actually run a anti-corruption program, no matter where you are in the world, you're going to mm -hmm. piss off corrupt people. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, who's and he used that word. You're going to yeah. piss off corrupt people. What happened to Jason? Did he have to go to the bathroom, or was this making him throw up? Uh, <laughs> He's looking he for his get another drink. Oh. I like Friday the weather night. format better than this. What do you say? I like the weather format better than this. Okay, well, let's go back to the weather <laughs> well, format. I told Sean, I leaned over, I told Sean, I said, see, politics makes people yell. And he goes, like cocks in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that one. I like that one. Wait a minute. What kind of mother are you where your child is saying like cocks in a blender? Hey, it's funny. It is. It is. That's awesome. <laughs> my, my. And I thought you were going to be a good mother. So, Sibby, we haven't talked to you in a while. Any comments about any of this? Any comments about any of this? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of comments. I just, I uh, you know, I'm thing. amazed He's at the way. Wait, wait a minute. Let, let Sibby talk. He hasn't talked for Here, a while. Here, just say something. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, wait, 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 wait. I always say that I, I am. Hold on. Hold on. I, wanna, I want I Sibby uh, to talk. I used, I used to be a Republican, and, I, and, I, and all their talking points and how they're bending backwards to accommodate someone who's not a conservative. He's not a Republican. He's just in for himself. Yep. He ran a campaign just to have to steal the limelight, and you know he never thought he's going to be the president. And how these people, principled people, bending over backwards to accommodate everything that he says, they don't see anything wrong with him. They don't see anything wrong with his statements. They don't see anything wrong with the way he has manipulated the system. They talk about Hunter Biden and fifty thousand dollar whatever job that he had but they refuse to look at someone who is not a congressional he's not been authorized by the congress the, he doesn't even have a security clearance the president's son-in-law he's going around qatar and all that making business deals for his for his dad's company millions of dollars worth of business deals nobody is talking about it he's friends with erdogan's son-in-law and erdogan was there yesterday and the way Trump was trying to prove that Erdogan is his best friend, what is this nonsense going on? I don't understand. You know Why what? are we sucking up to these dictators? You know what it is, Sibby? Because it's more important to be right about... It is sad. I mean, this is not the conservatism that I, when I came into this country and I saw and I got, I fell in love with. This is sad. This is really sad. Yeah, what were you going to say, Rob? Because it's more important to be right than it is to do the right thing. 
that goes for everybody that sticks up for this guy in government. Yeah. They, they all know the Constitution is being challenged, but it's more important about being right in your politics than it is to do the right thing for this country. Yeah. We just lost Phil. And, <laughs> and, and you know, I, I was, you know, I was very sad. I was very sad about Jeff Sessions. He created some promotional video for his run in Alabama. He wants to run as for the senator, and he's saying that he has, you know, he has run with this president's agenda, and he pushed for it more than anyone else. He was the first one to stand up for him and all that. After being spat on his face, yeah, spat on his yeah, face. yeah, seventy-two years of this man is seventy-two years old. He has been a senator in the public service for forty years. And this is his claim that he has stood up for this man and he's pushed his agenda more than anything else. And that's what he wants to run as a senator from Alabama on. That is sad. So, Phil, please. Well, the reason why he's doing that is because he wants to win in Alabama or he thinks this is the way he's going to win in Alabama. He's and, not and, going to win and, and, going to get Trump's support. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the minute just, the, the minute the polling. Just ask, ask him to talk to Matt Bevin in Kentucky. The day before the election, Trump came to Lexington, Kentucky, and and campaigned for Matt Bevin, and look where that got him. Yeah. He was further behind before Trump came. No, he wasn't. He was five points up the day before yep. Trump came. Yep. He's you're talk, You're in Kentucky, right? I am. Yes. So I think he knows better than you do, Phil. Five five other elections went to the Republicans. No, that's no not what we're talking, talking about. We're talking Big about deal. the day beforehand. Big deal. Big deal. There were people who didn't vote for governor who voted for attorney general and secretary of state. 10,000 more votes. Out of 1.4 million, there were 10,000 more votes for secretary think, of state and Bevin for attorney was, general. The current governor, uh, Bevin, was not very popular. Uh, well, now you're making look, excuses. A few no, minutes ago, you said he was ahead. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Marjorie actually sent money to Mitch McConnell's uh, uh, opponent uh, because she, Maybe. yeah, yeah, she was because they, we don't want to see Mitch McConnell. Fighter win. pilot. She was a Marine. Okay. Yeah. Graduated a Rhodes Scholar. Yeah. Look what it did for Bill Clinton. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. Yeah, Trump, 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 Trump. Actually, yeah. Bill Clinton gave Trump some advice the other day uh, mm -hmm. about the uh, impeachment stuff. He said, just let the lawyers handle it and uh, just deal with people's business. And uh, I, I well, that, 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 well, that's exactly Trump, what Trump. That's Trump exactly. can't do that, though. He can't Trump, stand geez. to have his own ego talked about. Yeah, he's right about that. Well, that's his. That's his then, then he'll lose. Big you know, but it's it's up to the people. Sibby's got his hand up. Oh, it's going to be an interesting election. Yes. Yeah. I I've uh, you know, I've been reading about some some opinion columnists and all that. I won't name anybody, but there is a there's a there's a talk going on that Trump is going to draw pens, and he's going to pick his daughter as a running mate, and he's going to prep her for 2024 run, which is. I, I see that happening because he needs someone in the White House to, to pardon him or keep him away from, you know, he, perjury not, or whatever. He's not going to Pence. And then he's going to marry her and they'll be the king and queen of America. <laughs> 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 but that, there's a serious talk going on for him to drop him Pence and pick uh, Ivanka. Mm. I, I doubt that'll ever happen. I think Nikki Haley wants that spot, too. Yeah, She's maybe in, in 2024. Oh, I can hear the cocks in the blender now. <laughs> ah. Your son has a bad influence on you. <laughs> I can hear the cocks in the blender now. <laughs> the cocks in the blender and de 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 de. Yeah. But, uh, well, I'm you know, I, I I feel sorry for people like Zibby who were Republicans, good Republicans, I guess, uh, I would imagine. I don't know why you were Republican, but I'm not going to hold that against you. And and the fact that you feel that your your ideals have been compromised by this president. And I I find that I mean, uh Phil, what do you think? I mean, Zibby is a uh, is, you know, 
that's uh, that's America. So he has the right to decide uh, which way he wants to go. Yeah. He's uh, analyzed the situation, and I trust that he's made a good decision. And I think you have a full house. Uh, yeah. And, uh, oh, wait a I minute. just I don't I don't agree with him. Let me see okay. here. Wait a minute. I gotta I gotta. Here. Oh, there he is. Okay. There we go. There is uh, Jason. Though. Jason. And uh, I believe, uh, let me see here. Oh, he's back. Hold on a second. I where, wanted us to have a full house. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I got. I, I have to. I have to get the thing going here. Here we go. There we go, folks. A full house. See that? Right there. Jason back. Right there. Jason's frozen. Oh, Jason's frozen. Yeah, and he's not on the Skype. Oh, yeah. then we don't have Hello. a full house. Yeah, take it down. Oh. Fuck. Fake news. Fake fuck. news. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. 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 Leave fuck. him there. He'll come back. No. Yeah. no I, I, we can't say it's a full house because he's frozen. You know? Oh, boy. Oh, well. Well, put huh? Phil up there twice. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, don't do that. Hi, Bray. How are you? Hello. Doing good. Yeah. Just it, had uh, what were you putting a blanket oh. over yourself for? You're trying wait, to be minute, Kathleen's son? You're missing something, a very important point, Alex. What's the temperature in Kuala Lumpur? Ah, what is there the temperature go. in yeah. Kuala Lumpur? Um, show, show us your weather app on your phone. <laughs> it's probably in Celsius. Uh, Alexa, what is the temperature right now? In Fahrenheit for us Americans. Mm -hmm. 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Damn. <clears throat> All Not right. Bad. Did we lose somebody else? Are you? Uh, is everybody else there? Sibby, you there? Uh, Sibby, are you? Are you there, Sibby? I think we lost uh, Sibby. Yeah. We lost Sibby. Hmm. Well. They're dropping like flies. Wow. They're dropping like flies. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, so my British colleagues are planning a party for December thirteenth or fourteenth, mm -hmm. which I guess is after their election. So they're already pl planning a party. That, does that have anything to do with the Brexit thing? I don't know. Uh, you know. Uh, they does talk about uh, does Johnson like have uh, a chance of putting together the coalition he needs? Or I don't know. I, I, I know better than to raise that as a topic of discussion at the lunch table. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're not eating. <laughs> it will be endless <laughs> among the Brits. Because I have a lot of British colleagues, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so my immediate boss is American, but then the... Are, are they as above. evenly divided on uh, Brexit? Are they I, evenly I, divided? The truth, I don't know where they stand on it. My guess is they would be anti-Brexit. Well, you know you why you don't want to but talk about... Because bollocks in the blender. Wait, do you... <laughs> <laughs> do, do you know why... Do, I wouldn't do, eat anything out of that Do you know blender. why you don't talk about that in the morning? <laughs> because you never talk politics with Brexit. Uh, uh, see, bre breakfast, Brexit... Yeah. I did learn that there are some news channels. I think the BBC has started an, uh, a news channel without Brexit. And my British colleague said, uh, if the Brits can have a news channel without Brexit, why can't the Americans have a news channel without Trump? They <laughs> no do. Trump news. Good question. It, it, it was Good called question. Jabnet, but, you know, you guys fell into the trap. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I uh, uh, I have fell for the longest time, and I said this in the very beginning. If you want to drive Trump nuts, just don't talk about him. Yeah. You know, that would just drive him crazy. You'd, be, you'd see him tweeting just the oddest shit just to get attention. Yep. That, that's what he always does anyway. Yeah. And, and just don't pay attention to him. Unless he does something, it's like, a, you know, it's like a... a, a the you, view. Huh? The view had the highest ratings that they've had in a while for Donald Trump Jr. He said they owe him a thank you. He oh. said, you're welcome. Yeah. 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 He's the and then the apple doesn't else. fall too far from the tree. Yeah, but you know what the trouble is? These networks are so, you know, they feel that this is their godsend for, for having news. You know, this is their excuse yeah. for news. It's just terrible. And they, uh, they love the fact that it exists, you know. They're crazy about it. So anyway, uh, what the, what are you up doing this weekend, uh, Phil? Let's see, we're talking now. Now we're into what are you doing this weekend okay. radio? Saturday, I've got six appointments in the field. 
Mm -hmm. uh, Sunday morning, I'm shooting. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I've got a, uh, I had some problems with the on off switch on my Drobo and mm -hmm. I have to, they sent me a new one mm -hmm. and I have to pop, repopulate the Drobo from the old one, put the drives in the new one and then let it do whatever it does to set it up. Excuse and me. Then send the other one. Do -da, do -da. Yeah. Oh, oh, you finished? No, okay. <laughs> Drobo replacement. <laughs> it's funny. My my cheap little QNAP, which only cost me about two hundred and eighty eight bucks or something, some two hundred sixty four bucks, is never had a problem with it. You know, the on off switch wasn't sticking. It's like it's like a uh, rocker switch. Well, well, why why do you turn the thing on and off? Uh, if you turn the computer off, you got to put push the rocker again to turn it back on. What? I never turned my NAS I off. never turned my NAS off. You ever turn your computer off? Well, yes, sure. Uh, yeah. Mine, off. mine is actually the, uh, the NAS. The NAS works uh, uh, in storage. The, yeah, the NAS works, works uh, in, independently. Yeah. No, I'm not using the NAS as a NAS. I'm using it as in, as as storage. That's why. Uh, oh. So it's 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 part of the. You, you, yours uh, is not hooked up to. Sounds like your, boobs in a blender. It's not hooked up to your network, <laughs> is what <laughs> you're saying. No, I, boobs it's in not a blender. Hooked up to the network. It's strictly storage. Oh, okay. Mine is hooked up to the network, and it works all the time. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, the so, only time my computers go off is when LG and E decides to pop the switch somewhere. I'm leaving Sibby up there, and I'm leaving uh, Jason up there because it looks like I got a lot of people. It's still <laughs> fake news. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the city's the, like this, you know. Yeah, Makes yeah, it's it a good serious. shot. It's a good it's shot. A good shot. Uh, you know, and, and and Jason's shot is pretty good. His frozen shot. But what yeah. happened to you, Jason? Call back. You you'll <laughs> repopulate your square. Uh, you know. See. Oh, there's yeah. His is the secret square, that. isn't it? Huh? No, he's there. Is he on are the you, YouTube? Uh, well, he's there. He's on no, the YouTube. It's frozen. No, he's frozen. It's frozen, it's frozen on the YouTube. Yeah. It's not on the square. Yeah. Yeah. But if he calls back. He will automatically go into that slot. Oh. See, that's what well, happens. That's the square getting the square. The same would be true of Sibby. If Sibby's still listening, if you call back, it'll you'll just go right back into the square you were in. So they must have turned the power off in Long Island. It's probably well. They what they do? His they turn it off. Boss, at, uh, they turn it off at eleven thirty. He's so. at work. His boss probably walked in the room. Was he at work? Yeah. Yeah, he was at work. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. yeah, I think his job is to watch all the cable channels. You could do that job. Really? That could be, as, as Ruben would say, that could be your job. I do it already. <laughs> you know, yeah. I do it already. Yeah, but he gets paid for it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, um, so and uh, let's see here. What are you up to this weekend, Kathleen? Working. Working. <laughs> really? Okay. Yes. Are you date? No. Are you dating at all? No, you know what? I don't have time. You don't have time to date. You work at an ice box. Yeah. Thirty degrees. So she hmm. doesn't have time to date. Hmm. No, you know what? Right now, it's all you know. Sean is the most important person. Yeah. Is he dating? <laughs> <laughs> he laughed. He said no. no. Yeah. But what happens when he starts dating? He starts dating. Then she'll start chaperoning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I, just, I was just wondering if you were doing anything this weekend that might be, you know, sociable. No. <laughs> You're just, Not yet. Just working on the weekend. Uh, how about you, Rob? What are you doing this weekend? Nothing. I, tomorrow night I pick up, tomorrow evening I pick up my wife. She's coming back from Germany. Uh huh. And um, that's it. No, no other plans. Wow. You get the piece of the Berlin Wall as you know a souvenir, and you know everybody brings back a little piece of the Berlin Wall. Phil, well, we, Phil, we, that was like twenty fucking years ago. It's they're the still wall. putting the, the chips of the wall in a little bottle, and well, they say, you know. Trump should ask him to knock the rest of it down and ship it over, and then he can build it here. Yeah, right. Just move the he wall here. Did. Yeah. You got the Brandenburg Gate is in, uh, uh, what is it, San Diego. Okay, Sibby, what are you doing this weekend? Uh-huh. 
He's not doing anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And Jason, what are you up to this weekend? Oh, really? Okay, that's terrific. Jason's going to be looking for a place. Now, to now here his comes Jeep. the question of the night. Uh, uh, um, um, Tony, what are you doing this weekend? I got to work tomorrow. <laughs> A week, right? And we're going to make stew. Now, now please stew. explain once again, in case the audience doesn't know what the joke is, what your job is. I watch my mother all day. <laughs> and I want to tell you, folks, in case you haven't tuned into this program, my, yeah. he makes $652,000 a year. To I'm going to take a day off soon. I want to go over. I'm going to see if I can go see Shecky. I got to tell him a couple of funny things. That yeah, he gets days know. off. You don't have to work seven days a week, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. okay. That's when the overtime kicks in. But that's when the overtime. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my. Five and a half, Alex. Tomorrow I'm making pancakes. So ba basically, you make more than 52000 a year. No, no. It's actually 10 hours overtime, 40 hours straight. I looked at my pay stub online. Okay. So I get thirty dollars of a ten hours overtime. So that's three hundred. Well, wait a minute. How much do you make an straight. hour? How much do you make an hour? Twenty on straight. Okay, twenty dollars an hour. So yeah. if you work forty hours a week, forty hours straight, and then I get another ten. What are you I gay for the other ten? If, if you're if you're forty, you're straight. What are you doing? Are you gay for the other ten? Well, the other ten, I get time and a half. They can do whatever they want to me. Just give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't go fifty with her. That's it. She's my only patient. If I went to another patient, I'd have to go to another agency. So what, what happens? What happens if 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 she needs you for more than that? Oh no, I can't go more than fifty. I have then I would have a backup. My sister would be the backup. If she gets paid then? She would get paid, but they can only go to so many hours then because then they cap it. Yeah. Now if you get sick and your mother takes care of you, do they pay her? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm thinking, that's another thing. If I get sick. I'm just home already. I never have to take a sick day. I'm already Okay, home. shut up. The joke's over. Uh, <laughs> Vernon, what I'm are you doing this weekend? I'm work at Home Depot on Sunday. Okay. And, no uh, rest for the Home Depot. Place. Kevin? I know. What are you doing this weekend? Uh, I'm a roadie for the high school. I'm going to go up and do a band competition in Union City. Mm-hmm. And then on Sunday, I'm going to the Niner game. Very good. And Bree, out there in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, it looks just like any other apartment. Hell, it looks like you could be living in uh, Tracy. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 what, are you, what are you doing this weekend? <clears throat> well, um, nothing much. Um, I... Went into the city last uh, week, mm -hmm. and as you recall, because I was on for a little bit from the mall, but uh, I've got a couple of trips coming up uh, over the next uh, couple months, mm -hmm. so I'm just kind of taking it easy here now. I'll be I'll be back in uh, the Philippines next weekend, and then uh, two or three weeks after that, I'll be in Thailand mm -hmm. um, for a couple of weeks over the Christmas and New Year's break. Mm -hmm. And they keep trying to get me to go to Britain, but I've been holding off, so I'm hopefully not going to make that trip. Um, <clears throat> I'm just not as interested to go there. You know, it's funny because my Malaysian colleagues all jump at the chance. They they want to yeah. go. Hey, listen, there's but a. Th I'm always like, why would it's I go? Getting played out. I got I got the good. theme there. Uh, it's like the Academy yeah. Awards. You got to give your acceptance speech before the music stops. Anyway, yeah, played out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much, Phil. Appreciate it. Uh, Kathleen, always wonderful. You are so funny. You make me laugh and pee my pants. Uh, Rob, thank you so much. Uh, I just, yeah. Uh, Sibby, bye-bye. Anything last words? Okay. How about you? Uh, Wednesday is Phil free. Well, Wednesday I will be back because I'm not I here know, on but Tuesday. It'll, it'll be Phil free. Well, then you'll never be able Tuesday. to find out what happened at my uh, my sticking needles. I'll read the my... paper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The obituary will be there. We'll tell you uh, thank you very much yeah. to uh, Jason, uh, who's not there right now. Tony, thank you. Thank you, Vernon. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Bree. I think it would be very nice of all of you. Gave a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back at you. Okay? Bye-bye. That's our citizen panel for tonight. 
And that's our citizen panel for this week. I will be back here again on Wednesday. I won't be here Tuesday because I'm having that uh, that uh, uh, biopsy on uh, on Tuesday. And it's not that I couldn't do the show, but I have to be up so early to do it that I'd be so tired by the time the show rolled around that I'd be a mess. So we'll see on on Wednesday. Uh, meanwhile, uh, stay tuned for Jack Bishop. He's next uh, right here on GabNet with the intersection. And then I will, uh, as I say, I will be back again uh, right after, uh, well, right after uh, they have the franchise MC at 9.30 and then at 10, uh, excuse me, at 8.30, at 10, th- uh, 9.30, oh boy, I get this straight somehow. It's the exchange with uh, Damian Chaplin and then I'll be here at, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be here at, at, at 10. Same time, same station in life in the meantime. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. See you later.